so we have the house bank now what do you understand by the house bank whenever we uh, will be creating the vendor or will be creating the customer so we need to pay the payment and this payment we need to process through the bank so if we want to issue a check so that check will go to the bank and bank is going to clear us and what we will be doing in the system because how we will be uh, we will be uh, processing that check in the system so parallelly we will be also creating a bank in our sap system in the sap system we will be creating the bank and this bank is known as house bank house bank means any of your bank branch or any 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 banking organization is also known as house bank for example we have a jp morgan bank and we have two banks so how many house bank you will create you will create two house bank even if the uh, let's say we have the same house we have the same jp morgan and we have the two branches of it one in new york and another is in uh, in houston so we'll be having in that case also we will be having two house banks because the branches are different like one we have in uh, in Houston and another we have in New York. So this is how we can set up the house bank. So once again, house bank is what? House bank means any of the banking organization or the branch of the bank is known as house bank. And for the creation of the house bank, two things are in, two uh, two things are in, uh, required or two things are important. What are the two fields? First is the country for in which this house bank is located in and second is the uh, the bank key so bank is the uh, identification of that uh, house bank so it is a nine digit nine digit key and through this key uh, the system is going to identify the house bank house bank means uh, the bank branch and uh, further detail system would be able to find out and also when we will be setting up the new house bank so we need to provide this information and how we can set up this house bank we can set up the house bank with fi12 transaction code so let's go into a system and create one house bank let's have here the transaction code fi12 and here we can see we have a we have a list of company code why because this house bank is maintained at which level at a company code level at a company code level we will be setting up the house bank so we can here we had we don't have the change option so what we can do we can go and we can double click on the okay first we need to select the company code so our company code id is 2190 we can select this company code and then we can go on the left side we have the house bank we can double click on this folder you can just see how many house banks we have zero so we need to add the house bank and in order to add the house bank, we have the new entry button we can click on the new entry button we need to give the id for this house bank which we we need to uh, define up to the length it is five character could be alphanumeric so here we can have the id for the house bank let it be the id as yes. it is house bank is city b or let's say it is city one city one this is the uh, id i have chosen for the creation of the house bank identification and this is the five character id and after that you can just see here system is asking what system is asking for the bank country and bank key so the bank country is going to be us and then bank is we can choose it here the uh, nine digit id so let's have the nine digit id as 2190 so first four digits are the company code only then after that we need to have the four zero and then we can have one so this last number or i would say this, this number i have taken randomly you can take it here any nine digit number then what next we need to do we need to click on the create button click on the create button and here we can give the bank name so this is the jp morgan Chase bank city uh, street is lake lane then we can have the city at new york and we have the branch at lake lane and then we can press enter button 
click on the enter button and if you just click on this address button system will start showing you your your uh, bank branch or the detail of detail about this bank key what information you have stored under this bank key so this information will be able to see and then we can save this information click on the save data and enter now uh, our house bank is set up what next we need to do so we need to go for the bank account so double click on the bank account enter it and you can just see here how many bank accounts are there zero so we need to add the bank account in order to add the bank account here we can see there is a button called create bank account so we can click on the create bank account hello everyone welcome to our channel please subscribe our channel and press the bell icon for the latest videos and notifications you can contact us for online sap trainings and certifications thank you so this fury app has been opened and in this system has a open a screen where we can create the account number so this is for the new bank account number and uh, what information we need to provide we need to provide the information opening date first of all we can select the company code id which is 2190 then after that we can have here the account holder name so the account holder name we have here we need to have our company code id which is walmart us lnc then we can have the bank country as us bank key is 2195001 currency is usd our house bank currency will be usd account number here we need to provide the account number so this account number length is 10 digit so i will take the same bank key number here and the last digit i am going to add it is zero so this is my 10 digit bank account number okay we uh, what will happen until unless we will be giving the bank account id the system will not allow you to uh, to set up the account number so where we can set up that uh, or we can provide the id for the house bank so we need to go to that this is the first tab which is a general data tab then we have the next tab as house bank account connectivity and then we have the last tab as additional so we need to now go to the second tab which is the house bank account connectivity and over here we need to click on the add button and we can give the bank account number so which is one so this is the house bank account this is a bank account number and here we can give the gl so we don't have we don't have the gl right now for the bank account so we can create the gl and for the creation of the gl we can go to the fs00 and then we can have here the uh, reference so we can take the reference from which gl from the cash account because settings are same so we will have a new gl for the for the house bank which is 200101 we can click on the bit template button and we can have here the gl account as reference gl account as 200100 company code is 2190 and then we can enter it this time we can uh, we can have the short text long text as city bank city bank current account city bank account city bank account and other uh, setting will remain same so we can now save it click on the save option now this same gl we can provide here it is asking for the GL. So the GL is 200101. If you don't know, we can press F4 key and we can for the company code for the for the chart of account CA90. For the chart of account CA90, we can search it. It will show you a list of uh, your GL. So we can see here the city bank is coming, which is 200101. We can select it and then we can save it. Click on the save data. House bank account ID, which in the what is the length for this house bank account ID? 
to the house bank account id we can set up up to the five character could be alphanumeric so let it be the id as four time zero one four time zero one so you can just see we can't add more than that so i mean i'm pressing the uh digit button but it is not uh, allowing me to create the length which is more than five character so this is the five length maximum length we can have now we can once again click on the save option so here it is saying that we need to give the account description so we can once again go back to the account description and we can save actually it is having some issue with the language only languages other than the logon language can be maintained so we can select the language other than the logon language let's try with the spanish and then we can save So here it is saying that the bank account is updated and then we can once again check so now we can see here uh, house bank account id is coming which is which is four times zero one this is the bank account number this is the gl we have linked and then we can go up it will show you the information about your house bank so we can now come out of the screen and we can go to the f512 screen once again and we can search for the position button click on the position button company code is 2190 house bank is city one and for the city one we can check the bank account so you can just see this time it is coming bank account what next we can come what 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 next we can do so here after creating the house bank and account id we can now process the payment through the bank so how we can process the payment through the bank and we can issue the check for that we need to have the invoice let's create one invoice and this invoice we can create with transition code f-43 we have the vendor it is 21001 we have the amount let's say the amount is 50000 50000 this is the invoice amount 40 we have posting key for the raw material consumption gl text is plus or text uh, we have the amount as asterisk and text is plus so i'm going to save it now again this invoice amount which is open let's refresh the line item we have a uh, we have a due amount of 55000 i want to make a payment of 50000 through the bank so for this payment we can go to the f dash 53 and we can press enter button then we can go to the header we can give here the gl now what which gl we need to mention here we need to G, we need to mention here the gl which which is linked with your house bank so with the house bank we have assigned the gl it is 200101 and uh, what is the payment amount 50000 and then we have the vendor account number which is 21001 and we can deselect this 5000 because it is not relevant so you can just see balance uh, the difference amount is coming as 5000 so we can deselect this line item because it is not relevant this is the relevant line item we can double click on this color will change from uh, blue to black it means it is deactivated so we can now save it so this is a this is the payment uh, line item and the clearing document number if you just uh, try to uh, refresh it will show you under the cleared line item and the clearing document number is 
two all zero seven three sorry three all zero seven and what next we need to do <clears throat> now against this if you want to issue a check if you want to issue a check so for that we need to create the check lot check lot in a simple language it means your checkbook so checkbook id we need to set up or the checkbook information we need to set up and for that we will be creating the check lot transaction code for this it is fchi it is fchi transaction code is fchi it is asking you that uh, for which house bank account id and uh, account number you want to create the want to create the check lot so i want to create this check lot for my paying company code 2190 house bank is 21 uh, house bank is city one and account id is four times zero one account id is four times zero you can just see here there is a change option we can just click on the change button and then we can click on the create button click on the create button here it is asking for the lot number this lot number we can maintain up to the four digit so let's have here the four digit number same as my company code id which is 2190 and the checkbook series we we can have here the check leave series we can have from it is let's say nine zero two one nine zero one two two one double nine or uh, here two one triple nine so that is the check series we want to have if you want if you want to use this checkbook series uh, as it uh, with a non-sequential option you can select the non-sequential otherwise system will keep this series sequential so you can't use uh, the check number uh, 02 before 01 so first you need to check the before you need to issue the check number 01 then you will be able to issue the check number ending with 02 then 3 4 5 6 and so on so forth so here we can select the uh, addition information so this is the city bank checkbook and purchase date is 1st of november 2020 enter and we can save Click on the save option. Now, what next we need to do after creating your check lot? So, we need to actually we have already uh, created a purchase invoice. So, this step we can skip and we can go for the payment. So, this is the payment we have already made. Now, we have the payment document with us. Now, against this payment document, I'm going to I'm going to map the check. So this tip, this thing we can do automatically and we can also do it manually. In case you want to do it manually, so for that, you need to map the check manually with transaction code FCH5. If you want this thing to be done automatically, system should map the check automatically. In that case, we can use the transaction code F-58. So first we'll do this thing manually and the transaction code will use the FCH5. Then we will be using F-5. F5 f-58 now we can have here the transition code fch5 to manually map the check this is my payment document number which check i want to get mapped i want to get map my check number 21901 if i try to use it here too you can just see system will throw the error because it is saying that one is the available number so we can press enter button and here it is saying that this check has been created and where you will be able to see the check information. So we have a check register for this and how to display the check register. So we can go to the transition code FCHN through which we will be able to display the check register. We can have the company code ID as 2190 and then we can click on the execute button. Since we don't have the too many house bank and account ID, in case you have too many house bank and account ID, so you can select the relevant one and after that you can click on the execute button. So these fields are not mandatory. So it will just show you even if you don't give the information for the account ID and house bank. Here we can see it is saying that this check has been issued, which is 21901 against the payment document number 3007. Date is 17th of November. Currency is this, amount is this, and the recipient name is this. And if you just go on the right side, scroll on the right side, it will also show you the status of this talk, uh, this check which if it is it is in cash or void so thanks for watching this video you can like comment share also email us for more details thank you